What's up, Basil Bays? It's your girl Joy back with another Basil Bega, honey. Yes, I do have the same outfit on. This is another video. So, before I get into this video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. Look out for your girl. Just give the video a thumbs up. You, you, that's what I said, okay? <laughs> so, I hope you all are doing well. So, I remember my mom wanted to talk to me. You know, my mom has been gone a long time. But I remember my mom wanted to talk to me about her passing, you know, where her paperwork was, who to contact, if I couldn't find anything, who should I contact from her job, and what to do, last wishes before she passed, you know, before she passed away, she wanted me to know everything because I was her main beneficiary. This was a long time ago. And it's like, I never wanted to talk about that with her. I never wanted to talk about it. I never wanted to talk about, oh, mom, you're not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. And believe it or not, one day she did. And I remember, it's like almost like she knew she was going to pass away because she started putting photo albums together. And there was an order to the photo albums. I, I remember she was sitting in the living room and it took her weeks and weeks and weeks she worked on those photo albums and i now have those photo albums and it was all the family pictures they were in order you know she she really did a good job now i need to sit down and i have tons of photos just sitting in little plastic bags child so but i didn't want to talk about those things with her and I try to mention it to my kids. Oh, mom, you're not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. But none of us, I promise tomorrow, do I want to go through life, you know, thinking that, oh, today's my last day? No, not at all. But we all need to have a plan in place. Even for my teacher retirement, I'm supposed to meet with um, someone next week about retirement. And I had to pick my beneficiary, you know, at my job. Who's going to be my beneficiary? How do I divide my little mo tiny bit of money between the kids? So there's already a plan. I'm planning for the last days. So how many people pass away and they don't have a plan? They don't even have burrow. At a minimum, I want to at least have money so my kids can put me away. At a minimum, I want that. So not to put that burden on them. So I do have a plan in place because you know what happens? We all go, but why wouldn't you want to talk about it? Your last wishes. I, I don't see why that's so taboo. So if I go tomorrow, what, what y'all going to do? You know what the paperwork is? So it's like I just want to arm them with that stuff. Not saying I'm going anywhere anytime soon. I don't know. Um. So... This is more for my kids. <laughs> if they don't know what to do, uh, Bobby knows where all my paperwork, birth certificates. There's one little folder where everything exists. Bobby knows where that, that folder exists. So all of the paperwork is all in one place. So she's having a hard time. Always contact somebody from my job. Or if I'm not at that job, everything will always be in that folder and it'll tell you exactly what to do. Step-by-step -step directions are in that folder. Who to call, um, who to contact. So there's a list written out for my kids. And the one thing I did tell my kids, um, and that I'm telling, if my kids is watching, the one thing I'm telling you that the pain that you feel will go away. It will not be the end of the world. It will feel like the end of the world in the beginning. It, it will, but it does go away. Oh, why is this making me emotional? Nope, not crying, not crying. And uh, when my mom passed away, ooh, Lordy Jesus, I thought I would never, never survive that. But I did, I did. I mean, I, I still have even so many, many, many years later while I can see something and it will trigger and I'll start crying. doesn't happen very often. But I want my kids to know, or I want you to know, my kids, um, 
that the pain will be unlike anything you've ever felt. But it will get better with time. <sighs> time heals all wounds. You know, the pain is... Well, no, I don't have that pain that I had with my mom. But I, there's still an empty spot. You know, wish I didn't lose her so young. Anyway, uh, I just want you to know that even though I get upset, you know, being a single mom, look, I didn't even come on here to cry. That I love all of you. I love you all different ways. You know, you all different. So I'm not gonna all love you all the same, but I still love you regardless. All of you, even when I'm frustrated. <laughs> and that I'll always love you. And I really don't know what happens after death. Who knows? But know that I'll always be looking over you. If that's what happens. I don't know. I've never been dead. <laughs> so, and just always behave yourself and carry yourself. That'll always make me proud. Even when I'm not here. And the other thing is, and I mean it, I mean it with every fiber in my heart, and please don't deviate from this plan ever. And I mean it, I'm going to be mad. Um, I do not want a funeral. Some of you out there, it's not for you, this is for my kids. So you have your opinions on whatever you want to have your opinions on. But I think we should all have a plan. And I know there was one guy, I believe it went viral as I digress. And he knew he was passing away. And him and his son planned his funeral. And he was a funny guy. And um, I guess when the casket was closed, they had recorded, pre-recorded it when he was knocking on the casket. Hey, let me out, let me out. And everyone started laughing because he didn't want anyone to remember him, you know, and be sad because he was a jokester. So, I don't want, I'm not doing that. But, you know, he planned it out. So, and for me, like I was saying before I don't want you to deviate from the plan any of you I don't care what anyone says I do not want a funeral what for two people to show up not interested and I want to be cremated cremated and I want you to take my ashes and I want you to put them on a little locket and you can all share like if you want to keep the bulk of the ashes and Toss them somewhere, throw them in the trash. I don't care, but keep a part of me with you always. And that's it. No service, no nothing. I don't want any of that. And like I said, it will hurt. But you will get over it. You have to continue to live your life. Tell your children about crazy grandma. <laughs> I always thought she was a teenager. And how funny she was. I didn't even plan this. Because y'all know I cry my eyes be puffy for like 99,000 days. But I just want you to know that that is my wish. And please don't deviate from that wish. And that you're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. Yeah. 
I think we all need to put in a plan, whether it's your retirement plan, a plan for what are you going to do with your things? You know, hopefully I won't have any things because I would have lived out my my last dying days fulfilling my dreams and goals, which will be not tied to anything materialistic. So it won't be any things. I'm, that's the plan. Um, but if you don't have a plan in place, you leave your family with so much to deal with. It's just so much. And I'm hoping that, you know, it won't be, I'll have everything lined up. So right now, you know, Bobby knows where everything is. You know, I might tell Sydney. I think Sydney knows where the folder is. I don't know. I'll follow up with Sydney. But you should always have a plan in place so your kids are not left with the burden of everything and trying to figure everything out. Because I remember when my mom passed away. It's like I knew what to do. I think someone else, I had to go to the funeral parlor, pick out her outfit. And I was probably 20 years old. To have all of that on me was a lot. But, I, you know, some of the family came down and, you know, walked me through the process. And the funeral director guy, oh, he was so nice. He was supposed to be nice. <laughs> he was really, really nice. And I remember he called me and he said, um, do you want your mom's ashes? My mom was cremated, but we st I still had a service for her because I felt as though we all needed the closure. But she wanted to be cremated. And, um, and I told him, I remember telling him, I was like, I don't have money. He was like, I didn't ask you for money. I, I asked you if you wanted her ashes. And I was like, yeah. Because she had the insurance, everything was tied into the insurance that we had um, to cover her burial. So, you know, he was like, I didn't ask you for money, so that was all included. And he put it in a nice urn. Oh, I can show you her urn. So, so the little urn, that's the only flower. And I guess that's what she is in there. So, this is my mom. My mom is in here. And my kids, they know. <laughs> and they say, um, oh, child, if I drop that, I'll probably totally freak out. <laughs> and they say, um, mom, <laughs> mom, you know, have you ever opened it? I'm like, no, <laughs> I, I wouldn't even, it could be dirt. Who knows what they put up in that thing. It could be some dirt up in there. I was like, no, I'm not going to open that. It's just, it just wouldn't be right. <laughs> but they asked me, well, did you open it? No. <laughs> yeah, it could be some sand up in there. I don't want to know. I don't want to open it. <laughs> I feel like that would just be like disrespectful. <laughs> So no, I already know who those ashes are gonna go to if something happens to me. I already said who those ashes will go to. You know, if I go sooner or whatever, but I even have a home for the ashes, you know. So no, you gotta put a plan in place. And when my kids, when you start working, I want you to get your retirement going early. I didn't get mine, go well I, I I did get mine going early, but then I go from job to job and then you cash your stuff out when life hits you. So, but you know, get your retirement plan, put a plan in place for retirement and when you're doing that, it's for you to live the rest of your days. How are you gonna live the rest of your days? You put a plan in place. So I don't mean for this video to be morbid or anything like that, but you have to have a plan. You have to even have the plan for your death. And sometimes it's a conversation that you need to have. Anyway, I think I done went too long. I'm trying to get my videos shorter, y'all. <laughs>
you got to have a plan in place. And kids, if you're watching this, my beautiful kids, um, once again, I love you. I don't know what really happens after death. I've never been there. But I'll be watching over you and always, always behave with respect. Treat people with kindness and love and share your joy um, with other people because that's what your mom, um, that's what your mom did, okay? I love you and I will always love you. So, message to my kids, hopefully, you know, there have been many, 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 many years, more years ahead. But we, we're not promised tomorrow. That's why they always say, leave each day as so though it's your last. That's why they say that. All right, guys, give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye.